What's up, Ant City, and welcome back to a Sparking Zero video. Now, before we get into the topic of today, I just want to preface this by saying I'm sure you've seen the title and everything, and I want to say this video is not meant to be a way for me to like hate on Sparking Zero or whatever, because I'm personally super excited for this game. Like, don't get me wrong, the game looks beautiful, and I'm super excited for it. And really, the thing I'm talking about isn't even actually Sparking Zero's fault, and they're actually being accurate here, but. I just wanted to talk about this. It's something I've noticed for a while. I just wanted to make a little video about it, but let's just jump into it. So here today, we're specifically looking at Blue Goku. Now, of course, the model looks beautiful and everything, you know, like it looks really good. The aura is so sick, but my issue comes with hair. So for people who don't know, again, this is just honestly, this video is just a really big nerd rant because this is me being like, um, actually, that's basically this whole video is just me. Um, actually. Dragon Ball, but so Super Saiyan Blue, the design is supposed to actually have an extra tuft of hair in it for Super Saiyan Blue. And we're going to look at a few examples. So here's a picture of it from Resurrection F and you can see right there, I'm going to point it out obvious in editing, but there's a little extra tuft of hair within Blue. And you know, this was just, you know, this was from Resurrection F. So we'll pull up more examples. So in Fighters actually gets this right here where they actually have the extra tuft of hair in the portrait for Goku. And even down to the character model for Goku, they have the extra tuft of hair, which we compare it to Super Saiyan, you can tell it is very clearly like a di like they did change the hair model here, which is funny. The way they did it actually, like if we just go back and forth between these, they just dropped this like piece of hair down, which it works for the model, like right, you don't need to change too much on the model, but it is actually just an extra piece that you can see. And then even if we jump over here to Dragon Ball Super. This was a thing in the all the way up to the Tournament of Power. Now, if you look through Super, I'm sure there's plenty of screenshots you can find where that isn't there. But that's just due to the fact that Super had a lot of inconsistent animation. Because, uh, you know, this picture here is from Tournament of Power. You guys gotta remember, this is the same arc where they made Goku blue. Where people were theorizing, because of they forgot to like draw his bangs, people thought blue Goku was Super Saiyan 2 blue in the episode preview. They thought Super Saiyan 2 Blue was going to happen, but no, it's just because Super's animation is inconsistent. But if you look at the, you know, like I said, going back to Resurrection F, that extra tuft of hair is supposed to be part of the design. It's just Super's animation was all over. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, what's up with Sparking Zero then? Why is their hair different? Well, it's not, like I said, it's not even Sparking Zero's fault. It's because they're basing it off of Broly Movie Goku. Because if we look at the design sheet here, Broly Movie Goku, I have that. Um, at all like that extra piece of hair is just it's just not there at all and we're gonna look at some more so here this is another sheet to compare so if we look at super saiyan goku and blue goku it is literally just a recolor of the super saiyan hair which overall it does look fine it's not that big of a deal but it's just for me being a you know giant weaved big nerd i've like the extra tuft of hair to me is important because we can beat the hair, like the recolor allegations, even though it basically is a recolor, you know, but the extra tuft of hair just gives Blue a little bit more uniqueness to me that I like. Like it's a little subtle difference. So subtle that apparently not even the Shintani design noticed it. But yeah, then here, here's another look at uh, another design sheet for Blue and you can see that extra tuft of hair is non-existent because Blue in this movie is just a recolor of Super Saiyan. So, and then here's another screenshot from within the movie where you can see uh, yet again, the extra tuft of hair is not there. And Sparking Zero, Blue Goku is based on the Broly movie. So it makes sense. Now, what I hope they do, and this is such a little detail, I'm sure it doesn't matter to most people. It's just like a me thing, I think. Um, but I hope that they give us, like for Blue Goku and Vegeta, for example, I hope they give us their Resurrection F outfits in the game. And that they add the extra tuft of hair for those outfits, at least. Because obviously, based on the Broly movie... Because if you look at the Broly movie design sheets, for example... Like, let me drag this one over. It is super accurate to the Shintani designs. Like, you have to give them props for that. It is very on model for what Shintani drew. It's just that, you know, for me... 
I kind of like the extra tough to hair, bro. But, um, you know, I hope that they do add, like, Sparking Zero, obviously it's a Budokai Tenkaichi game, and the Budokai Tenkaichi games are known for having a bunch of different outfits for all the characters. Like, Goku, like, let's take Namek Goku, for example, Goku Mid, you know, he had his regular clothes, he had the ripped up shirt, he had the Yard Rat outfit, like, a bunch of different outfits. But Sparking Zero, they could take it a step further, and in that outfit, they actually go with the Resurrection F design if you wear the Resurrection F outfits. Especially because in Super, like I said, um, that extra tuft of hair goes all the way up to the Tournament of Power, you know? Like, that—that that is a thing in the Tournament of Power, so... Uh, I mean, we'll see what happens when the game drops. I just wanted to make a little video just talking about this very, very minute detail that I'm sure no one cares about. Because like, here's my thing, if the game comes out, they don't update the hair i'm it's not like i'm gonna be like oh i'm not buying this game boycott the game especially because like in reality when we were playing the game the camera's gonna be behind goku anyways so it's really not that big of a deal and i can understand if they don't want to spend production time like changing one detail on the model i can understand that but like it would make me really happy if they did something if they you know they changed that little thing but i don't know let me know what you guys think do you have you ever noticed the extra top of hair because i think it, i did talk about this on twitter like a month or two ago, I believe. It could have been longer than that. But I talked about this on Twitter, and apparently a lot of people never actually even noticed the extra tuft of hair, which is fair. Um, the biggest one that, like, makes it obvious is fighters, because they went ahead and did this. Like, yeah, a lot of people didn't even notice that. So let me know if you ever even noticed that tuft of hair. I didn't notice it for a while either, but then someone pointed it out, and I have not been able to unsee it since. So now anytime I see someone draw blue, official or not, I am looking for that extra tuft of hair, you know? Like, official or unofficial. And then, so, by the time, you know, Bro when Broly came out and I saw there wasn't there, I was like, no, now we're never beating the recolor allegations, man. Look at this. It's, it's literally a recolor. We're not beating the allegations. But, yeah, that's it for me, though. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if there's anything you've noticed about Sparking Zero that you wanted to talk about. Like, any little minute details or just what you want to see in Sparking Zero the most. But, yeah. Till next time, though. See you guys later. And... Peace, have a good day or night.